Hey, you guys. Today we're gonna play. Life is strange. <clears throat> Story based that features players' voice. Oh, okay. Was not expecting it to be so loud. Gonna turn the volume a bit down. Sorry, I need to turn down the volume just a tiny. Even more. <laughs> Sorry about this. Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? There's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay. Oh, salut, Kira. You are right on time. I just started. Exactement, Alder. Whoa, now that's quite a tornado, isn't it? Campfire here. Can I sit on this bench? Oh, okay. Holy shit. Okay, so that, that was, was just so a dream. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a Ah, okay, so that's the control. Okay. She could have taken another approach. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Uh, 
I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's foot. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Well, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thank global warning. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon, get me soon. Kate, let me borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. <laughs> you did it in French because basically it's, I believe it's easier maybe. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warden to almost revoke my geek card before I held my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that or a Vortex Club stroke fest swimming party? Or is that backstroke fest? You're so punny, Max. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> at least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks in Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop. You, all, you have all the time in the world. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is Max. My name is Max Calf. Oh my god, this is so much uh, backstory and whatnot. Okay, so my name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at, safe, at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to an old analog camera gear rather than a digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. Okay, on a scholarship, even I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. Well, see, it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. I'm so, so I'm 18 now and I'm official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or matured. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Say cheese. Okay, let's go back. Jefferson. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, so this is the teacher, I believe. Uh, he's also my teacher, yeah. And one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of our, by one of your inspirations? I've always loved this his deco and God style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be quite condescending. He's Pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof and sometimes pretentious. He has his smug smile when he thinks he's right. But do I think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist? He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a job in his Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco, nice, to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. How was your day, Kira? How was lunch with the family? Kate, I forgot the... If I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month, she's really sweet and nice even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me so I don't care. Uh, but she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all the bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Okay, so this is Kate. She's uh, an introvert, I believe. And she hasn't been acting well in the past 
days. All right, let's go back. And we got Victoria. So, it's working. Oh, okay. Uh, well, maybe next time you get to have your brother as well. Do you like my lemons in the corner? Let me see if I can point it the right direction. Here. I put the lemons in the corner because when life... <laughs> that when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? And we're playing Life is Strange. Anyway. Uh, and there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody would, who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking me. 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate March. Okay, so she's picking on Kate. For real, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school. So maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does no art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. <laughs> those French names. I, I wonder what those French names are. Uh, her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ah. Okay, this is episode one. These are... Uh, this is... One photo. Okay. SMS. Okay. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow. Okay, we got money. Okay. Okay. Always. You okay? Oh, there's. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea late? Absolutely. At four. Okay. Mom, happy birthday, Maxine. Maxine. <laughs> Well, you can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Okay, and Warden. Make sure to check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, they have to study. Don't think about it. Okay. Oh, okay. We got more in the journal. I got accepted into... Oh, and I... Wait, why did they give me... The last page, though. Uh, I'm gonna get back to this. Let me see. Of the 1950s. Well, I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? My day was good. Uh, it was full of meetings because it was one of those days, but it was good. Uh, hmm, you're asking me? Uh, what do I... What? Why, why can't I select this? Wait. Oh, I can. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. <laughs> Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. 
You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Okay. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a yeah. photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Okay. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took the class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Hey, Santa. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Noir beauty, film versus digital, who will win? I'm good. I just started this game and I'll see where it takes me. How are you? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive, everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. GRLT64S. With all the speed and power expected from a new green lit, the GRLT64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out of the camera. You're farming tokens, nice. Wow, five thousand dollars. Okay. I also want everybody to know that this photographic even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, fifteen years old? Yeah, what is she fifteen laughed. years old? That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, nice. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. We love your porn video. Okay. See what Kate, Kate looks is so doing. sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's speak Hi, to her. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, it's hmm. been quiet today. Now, let me go with this. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Let's talk later, Max. Mm, okay. Fetch the marks. Rachel Amber forever. Okay. What else do we have here? Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Oh, this is the tower we we've just seen. The lighthouse, here. the lighthouse, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. 
This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. Okay. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. No, it's not. Okay, I hope I didn't miss anything in this room. We talked to her, we looked at the photos, we looked at the equipment. Oh, there's some books here. So cool that we can check these out anytime. Okay, so the Decisive oh. Moment by Henry Cartier Bresson. That's rare. Any leap of it's mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Abaddon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. <laughs> cameras oh, go to man, heaven. They have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Okay. Photo contest. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. In heroic action. Okay. You didn't tell me how cute I look yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the real world. Cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a flower. Don't not entertain me. Music is nice. I'm really curious where this goes. Don't text and drive, okay. I like games with good music. I really like these missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. 19 years old, Rachel Lambert, okay. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. To all of you, American girls in the movies. No one can tell.
all said the same thing like they look like my brother as well he says he doesn't really like online school let me take a photo of this you know why would there's no no butterfly in that photo is it why is the guy here It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Oh what are you God. doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh my. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? Okay. I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From colors Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller, Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel Okay. I did now. it. I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. <laughs> Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yeah, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Yeah, I think I it's totally haunted by the eyes of way more interactive when you're in class, right? And ask me a question. Tortured, right? If he does That's again, right. I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What, what if, if I let him to talk? Capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a. Oh, we got Nathan. Okay, so just when I thought Victoria would be the worst of my social problems, now I have to deal with Nathan Prescott. But I guess he was the one who triggered me crazy rewind power by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already a scary fucking prick. You said your favorite class was chemistry, right? I hope I don't remember that incorrectly. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got friends in high places and his family last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against me. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he does not se doesn't seem to be in control. Like he's doped up or over medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out and he's he almost killed, did kill, a girl on campus. 
Should I go straight to the police? What did I do I say about my remind power? Like I'd say anything, I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. <laughs> okay. Big fan of her work. I prefer You gotta take Robert the selfie. Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Yes, you can. Always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Mm -hmm. The process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Hey, the mirror. Totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Making them extremely okay. Victoria, the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. <laughs> nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly <laughs> because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life John is what Lennon. happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. Excuse no, me. Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Ah, Victoria probably hates us right now. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. 
crazy. Crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's so happening. Sick. I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? And now they're gonna freak out. Okay. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? He's such a prick. Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Oh, okay. Thank you, Principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be upfront with me, Max. No, or I have can't. Have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Mm. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. That's Prescott Karen happened Hyde, to right? be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. No, so no, that's Fahrenheit, surely. In the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? How you much is it in Celsius? Are you I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. 
Oh, okay. There's that team two again. You know, I've I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on. It's minus five here You've right now. Here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. That's twenty three Fahrenheit. We'll approve when they find out. Now get outside with class, please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Mm. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave with the uh, coat. Even though... Just saw Nathan Presk. Consequences. Well, yes. But either way, there are going to be consequences. So that's the, the path I prefer. At least now. With Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Ms. Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Ms. Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Native Americans? The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Mm, do I want cameras on campus? Or do I want to deal with stuff because if you put cameras there's chances that conflicts are found out right <clears throat> but if i don't put i have to deal with them myself and the principal won't believe me so i'm gonna sign absolutely i don't mind security, i'll do it but not <clears throat> pure surveillance i knew you were my favorite new student at blackwell for a good reason hmm well, that's that. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Okay, Sandra, thanks for stopping by. The Vortex Club. Hope you have an easy day at school. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Sure. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know.
So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too hmm. cool for us. Okay. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? That's so vague. Let's ask about Do Nathan. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's alright and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Okay. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is... Fucking hilarious when he's blazed, and he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Okay. Brooke actually has a drone. Oh, the drone is her. Okay, hers. Okay. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? No, I don't. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Honey, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. B40. 400. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hey. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Mm -hmm. Most impressive, Max. How would that be in real life, huh? Faceted. That would be cool. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. I'm gonna crash it. Oh, uh, no. Oh, I'm an expert uh, drone. No, no, I'm not doing anything. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see what else do we have here.
Hey, Looney. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Gotta get to the dorm, okay. David. Well, I swear the security guard is the biggest ass here and that's saying a lot. He's always he always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. So of course he would end up as Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Are you supposed to be aren't you supposed to feel I don't know secured on campus? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to taste somebody. He would make a good photo for the portrait of authority though. Who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a bar barracks shudder. Just another person I have to avoid at that. Well. Wow. Yes. How are you? Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. <laughs> E6. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. <laughs> and this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Otter power? I'm so not there. Okay. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. Oh, team meeting. Yeah, I had a full day of ceremonies, meetings. Planning I'm and sure this retros and whatnot today, employees. so. Too much information be here now. Multitasking keeps you busy but not alive. Social media is no replacement for reality. Come visit the Buddhist Center, 380. Arcadia Bay. Bible study. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Okay, so the dorm is the other way around. What is this? Now I have oh. to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Who else can I talk to here? I could go for a burger now. Mmm, burger. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? Uh, I have no idea what Thrash is. Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check. I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Good flip, boy. Yo, you okay, man? Taking a photo of the hurt dude. Oh, come on. Hmm. <laughs> oh, hey, David. What's up, Daniel? Daniel, oh, not David. Max. Could I um ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put. My sketch is on Facebook, though. Mm. 
short. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Liz. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Only like one of your French girls. <laughs> Best portrait ever. Awesome. Thanks. We'll have consequences, yeah, because he's gonna, because <laughs> he's gonna post it on Facebook. But I already know. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Okay, let's see what these girls are up to before I go to the dorm. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh my. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Ugh. Well, I heard that from a good source. Interesting. Do you learn something new every day at school? Like I said, you have a lot to learn. Max, see you in class. Okay. Uh, 18. 18, 19. Or that's what the story says. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan. Mind if I checked out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh... Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. I got it out of the first. I, that was just a guess. Kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? Perusal? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. Perusal? What does that even mean? These photos are great. And Rachel oh, Amber's he has face a Rachel. mesmerizing. Photo. Flashbacks. All right, I guess this is okay. And there's one more person here. There's a graffiti here. Clever. Uh huh. And there's Luke here, which I don't uh, think hello? I've met. Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. 
He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Not really. Not really. I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Sheeple. <laughs> All right, let's go to the dormitories. Oh, hello, bird. Can I take a picture of you? Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh my, um, you know what I do with, uh, change? I put them in, um, what's it called, uh, glass jar, and when it fills... I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. And when it gets full, full when it fills, not fulls, when it fills, I just give it to a beggar on the street that I Is see the around Warren? the neighborhood. Warren. Nathan's family owns my dorm? I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Hey, Logan. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Nice. No. No, bro. Okay. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Nice, bro. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, the cycle bin. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Uh, hey, Kate. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. What's class? How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't awesome. care about much of anything today. What happened? Anything? Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Hold. What's your name? Sweet. Hi, hey, Samuel. Samuel. Well, hello there. What's with these posters? What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. Bruh. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? Just oh, he off. speaks in. Now I have to go paint windows. Oh. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. That's like, like a battery. Positive. Energy. Not okay. This looks like an old dude have, talking about an 18 year old like Best she was a goddess. Past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. Okay. See you later, Samuel. And watch you step around here, Max. After I sweep or paint. That sounded like he's hiding something more than anything. Oh, there's a. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. With all these new droughts, it seems kind of obscene to waste all this water. Oh, that could be. Oh. Hi, Max. Hello. What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Love today or die. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse no. me. Hey, let's see what these beautiful, uh, intelligent oh, look, girls are doing. Oh, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. 
What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your weight hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> oh, buzz off, Peter. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Yeah. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Yes, I'd like that. Awesome. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Mm, bye, Felicia. Just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Mm, you know how much this me. fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Hey, you may make him kiss me. Hey, me. Oh, what happened, girls? Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. None shall pass. Okay. Mm, what can I do here? I gotta make these. Oh, there's a totem there. Can I take a picture of that totem? Sweet. I can. That's weird. Right. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Okay. I really missed something. Hmm, okay. I will. It's just weird. Sorry, no paparazzi. She looks allowed. like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Awesome. Mm. Right. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. My favorite movies? Oh man, that's a really okay, hard let's see if this works. question. This that I watched uh, this year. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. 
Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the table. Here. Yes. It is a good movie. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Victoria? Oh, Sandy, oh, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Oh, can I take a picture of this lovely lady now? Oh. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Mm-hmm. And no filter needed before I post this. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day, and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Oh, dude. Oh, Looney, it's so hard to pinpoint a movie. Like, I, I really love watching movies and I really appreciate movies for what they are. It's always hard to just say, I love this movie or that movie. But is this a vortex club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Welcome to Black Hill. Which one's mine? Let's do it. Two nineteen. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Do you like watching? What What's your favorite genre? You watch everything. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. I can give you the list of uh, what we have for movie club. We watched two of them, and I'll I'll give you a list of eight. So these are on the list to be watched, maybe. Ah, uh, it doesn't post it well. Uh, hmm. You're, you're not on my Discord, right? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. At least that's an alarm from this century. I haven't. Uh, I just need to have you there so I can... Message you the whole list. That we have so far. Yeah, we got a movie club going on, by the way. They live. Wait, did I miss? No, I didn't. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Hurry, Courtney. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. This is my room. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? I love food. Hey, thank you for the follow. Home sweet home. 
my favorite cocoon. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Jeff, Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. Oh, he's such a goofball. Okay, let me see where you are. Uh, Looney, yes, we we are, and this is the whole list. Great. There we go. Now that's a better list. This is all we have on the list for now, and we watched the two, and I really liked both of them. Um, so Hotel Rwanda was the last one we talked about, and the Time of the Gypsies was uh, the first one. Time of the Gypsies is uh, made by the same director that um, made Black Cat, White Cat, if you know about that one. And I, I had the discussions posted on YouTube if you want to see how those uh, things go. <laughs> I don't mind spoilers. Uh, but I don't really appreciate the fact that you did that. I'm not going to read your comment. So, to Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of graphic, life altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care for the most discriminating viewer. Um, yeah, wait one second. Timed you out, do that again, and you get a ban. I'm sorry, I don't like, I don't want to be rude or anything, but that's just a pretty, pretty shitty thing to do in general. I love that box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday and slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Yeah, it's okay. Uh... I, again, I don't want to sound like a oh, prick. Hi, I appreciate the bits. At least I know you've got my back. But when I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER. I knew we were bonded forever. That's not a nice thing to do. The in Maxwell general. Field photo memorial wall. Hmm. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. So cheesy, but <laughs> it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Hey, I should have done I this. Song, do I know Hamilton? <laughs> the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. 
Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I thought I would get to look at that album. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. I look so pathetic. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at this vintage porn. beauty. I see what the porn they were mean they meant in class. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV called Classic and Fucked Up Films on the Fat Flash Drive. If you ever want to check them out, thanks again for the help. I am a scientist more than an artist. Now can you quickly explain to me how a camera works? <laughs> okay. Looks like Dana left me a little post it now. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks whilst I study. You need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay, so we gotta right. go to Dana's now room. I have to go get the flash drive from One Dana's day I'll room. organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Hmm? Watering my plant has consequences? What? Sure. I will not leave, let my... If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always, Always looking. looking. Oh, instant film. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm happy. Oh, nice. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for my... I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go mm. Thunderbirds. Okay, so... Movies that... Okay, so since you're back, um, I really, really liked uh, Fight Club. Uh, the book is... A bit harder to digest i believe rather than like the movie is more easy to understand i guess a uh, book if you read it is not as um maybe as obvious the first time you read it uh if you haven't seen the movie uh i liked a lot uh one of the movies i also enjoyed a lot watching man i could talk about movies all day long um let's see what she plays um there's a lot of movies i liked i can't i don't know oh she's playing the same song that was played on the radio that's why I started a movie club, Looney. <laughs> also, do you prefer calling you Looney or do you, would you rather me call you by your real name? If I hope I remember it correctly. Yes, I do love to watch a lot of them. And I like watching, uh, I like watching, um, not necessarily Hollywoodians ones because they're usually filled with a lot of interesting facts. And I gotta go to Dana's room right now. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hi, Juliet. This looks kind of stupid. Answer you. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. 
Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, you yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? <laughs> uh... Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Wow, okay. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about that? <laughs> That's the second According to Victoria, Dana lucky would guess. Do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sex. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Ooh. Straight to hell. Okay, so I gotta go to Victoria's room, which was... I forgot. Wait, let me look at the map. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Blackwell no, not this. Big, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sure feels... Welcome so, to Victoria, 221. Oh, right. And, of course, it's open. Okay, let's keep digging. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there, unlike me. Thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in the future indeed endeavors. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you. Don't hate. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm huh. room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yes, I get it. Enter the vortex I will club. probably get caught no. looking through her room, but I will rewind knowing the info <laughs> I already got. So okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Julia that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me and so I expected her to be a dorm rampage soon. Julia deserves this for slotting Zach away from me. Slotting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Okay. Print email. Uh, let's get this. Take. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. <laughs> Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? Okay. How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson Brufy. Okay. Cool, let's see what this could said. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after a this cult. article. Okay. One of Blackwell's Academy was durable and influential social groups. The Vortex Club started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the UP forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when the computer nerds were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. Givenchy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, as you saw, a lot of the French names are also um, pronounced 
Oh, uh, well. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color Speaking of selfies, let's, mess let's this play up. a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Yep. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Let's take a photo of this. And we're done. <laughs> whenever, whenever I hear uh, a, a name like Givenchy, I always remember this video. Wait, wait, you're gonna have a, a laughter. I'm gonna post it in chat. I'll let you listen to that. <laughs> That's around pronouncing uh, names of brands. Juliet, read this. I don't know how to make Nightbot alert you when you have a new follower. So I don't have any alerts in chat by uh, Nightbot sentiment. Asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. So I can't help you with that. And I hope so. The video I posted, Kira. No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Sorry, Sandman. But I, I don't even know if... Uh... Nightbot does that, but I know that Moobot does that. And then I'll go see Warren. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. I've listened to a lot of them, so Dana takes her Blackwell spirit seriously. <laughs> it's a funny, it's a funny oh pregnancy test. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Take. Uh okay. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Sorry. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Must protect my precious so Max never has to. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking about. I better make sure everything is still in there. Weird times homework. I forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it, no matter how tempting. Unholy obscenities. I, I want to open the unholy obscenities. <laughs> Of course, a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. Browse and friends. Yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Hey, girl, thanks for the party favors. What's up, Dana? Just couch locked with Super Mario. If you want to come over, you can blaze and play or go for a walk. Let me know. I'll be there. Still there? Hello. Cool. This is both sad and pathetic yeah no, i suck at writing but i thought i should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever i know i act like a tough jack around everybody but i never had to act around you i'm not the kind of man you deserve you saw how i pussed out logan okay maternity book okay good lord dana really was on her own okay so clinic note okay i assume dana kept the appointment okay and a sticker of vortex 
It would be a cool sticker without the words. Let's see what else Dana was hey, saying. Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was, okay. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Mm, I want to ask who. But it's not my business. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. All right. So we're heading out, I guess. Well, she either had an abortion or she lost her pregnancy. All right, let's go to Warren, I guess. Wait. On my way. Okay. We got an SMS. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about Blackwell Honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP. Ugh. Wait. Oh, these are the... Okay, so we can have one, two, three, four, five, six more pictures. All right. I need to see where these are, though. Who else? The principal. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning out in the halls. I started like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've even he see him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. He also seems a little stressed out. I would be, I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I, I thought I smelled alcohol on his bed, but that could have been his cologne, right? Right, not his cologne, definitely. But I remember my first meeting in his office, and he was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming part of a special world. He said he hoped I would become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Okay, then I made a possibly federal decision to fall principal wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in a bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. Not all those who wondered are lost. I had to meet up with Warren, yes. He didn't want to believe and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking girl student would carry a firearm to class. I would, couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. But my school day started with an apocalyptic dream that ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can talk to anybody about this well the only person i could i haven't seen in five years okay i'm curious who she's talking about i could confide in warren he's smart and knows science so maybe he could even think of an explanation though i have no idea what could be no i don't want to tell warren anything until i can figure this out i better stay out of that down low with this stuff and focus on my classes warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back even though i haven't had the chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there I watched a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files. Oh my god, X-Files is so war, so old. Binged on Full Metal Alchemist. This I have to see. I have not seen Full Metal, Metal Alchemist. And uh, I've heard it's a really, really good thing to watch. Then Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill, all kinds of... I know there's a... Um... Okay, no worries. 
Total Cyberpunk Trip Tetsuo. Okay. One well, side note, I saw a missing person poster on campus from Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victoria and her Vortex Vixen blocked me from getting in. And even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did. She actually told me to go fuck your selfie though. It was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit, of course. Especially if I've even been given an actual gift from the universe. But did it give me a chance to test it out? Meanwhile, still I can't believe I took a picture of Victoria's coded and paid for revenge. I must be feeling pretty brave. She vowed revenge, so I guess I've officially made my first enemy at Blackwell. More high school drama. Julia wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything. And since Dana borrowed Warden's flash drive, I had to intervene. Julia told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana. So I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and turned to her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going to Victoria's room and laptop. Cool. Okay, let's go meet Warren. So we got pictures to take of... So this guy... Uh, okay, football breaking stuff. Uh, one of these squirrels, Van Ebert. Okay, alrighty then. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head if you insist, Max. Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped. And now we're gonna take a picture of. Uh... There we go. Cool. Uh. Oh, it was this. Okay, an SMS from Hi Whore. Hope you enjoyed. The pics, it's your last one. Okay, she has my number. Cool. Next. What the fuck? Oh, once I gave Julia the proof that Victoria was behind this. Welcome back. I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, so I had to look around to see if I could find Warren. I found a home pregnancy test along with a note from Logan and doctor's appointment. Then a minute she was pregnant, I realized that all of my friends have troubles that are just significant as mine, of course. Glad to see our campus is eco -friendly. Okay, so we need to find a uh, squirrel, the sky, and three more things. Okay. Squirrel, I believe it's in the this area. Next area we're gonna go back into. Because I saw squirrels there. So. Oh. so don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Hey, Twitch Cardos. Step in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Mm. Do I wanna... Thank you for the follow, Twitch Cardos. Uh... I'm just... The first time playing this game as uh, 
my friend Kira here recommended to play it. Um, it's just a normal day, had work to do, then started the stream. How's your day going? How's your week going? Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Buzz off. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David... Oh, nice. Uh, I'm not that excited for Christmas, except for the part of me not working, because I will probably not go visit my parents because of the whole COVID situation around. So... I'm excited and not, if that makes sense. Do you have any cool plans for Christmas? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Now that I'm already here, I'd rather go talk to Warren. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen my Good thing folks. I don't have a car yet. I haven't seen my folks since last year, so Who toilet papers and are this year I've only seen them in Facebook calls, so. The whole town is turning into but it's for the best i mean damn somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters now this really pisses me off so entitled sorry handicapped folks my truck needs these two spots more than you do bastard mm. Oh, I could take a photo of this van, right? It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. <laughs> I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. There, now it's officially a dirty window. Yeah, uh, I know it feels all science fiction and I really share your sentiment. Like, I can't believe that it was March, like yesterday, it was March when our company just announced us that we should start working from home from now on. And then all the lockdowns, everything, uh, everything closing, uh, not being able to go out anywhere. And it's not like I'm a very outgoing person anyway, but it's just, I, I really believe uh, I, I, mean, I really share your sentiment, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep positive. Uh, one of the good things that happened this I year is I started streaming, uh, which has helped me meet a lot of people and a lot of nice people. Uh, and uh, I'm also really fortunate to still have a job, which is not something everyone can say unfortunately so a new surveillance system that's how it starts yeah i've actually started streaming thanks to my wife encouraging me to do so and i do stream for Max, for charities here. and uh i did get one payout so far and i sent it to charity and i'm really happy about that wait is that the bird i need to take Picture of. Too bad those posters will be trashed and ignored. Can I take the Go picture of that? Please. 
Yeah, thank you. And I've also made two donations because uh, two people in my streams uh, redeemed the biggest uh, channel point uh, redemption. Oh, and that's the squirrel, I guess. Look at Warren and his Wayback Machine. Hey, thank you. He's I appreciate the kind words. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, fortunate to have uh, pretty chill people exactly. around. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Mm, no worries. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. No, it's not free. Uh, let me see how much it costs on Steam. I did get... Um, So the first episode is free. First episode is free, but the other ones are 20 euros now. But I did catch it on, on the autumn sales and I paid like 40 euros for all the episodes. But yeah, it's pretty expensive, I believe. No, 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 you're not by. I always enjoy chatting to new people, and I appreciate you for chatting with me. You're part of his online portrait posse. Don't be jealous. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. This is one of the. You're a wit, Max. It's the company I keep, Warren. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Movie booty. Uh, this is one of the things that I've enjoyed most about streaming actually getting to chat with more people. Yeah, you can, could give it a go. And maybe if you like the the first episode, uh, do you also stream? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Mm, I really, uh, I hope, one of the things I really hope is that when the quarantine is lifted and we're in a safe, uh, we're in a safe place, um, I hope I will be able to um work from home continuing that oh uh kairos uh check my about section and check out viewer storm it's a community i'm a part of uh it will surely help you get that uh average viewership easy and yeah um if it weren't for the the quarantine, I would probably not start streaming either. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> no, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, I'm not from Sweden. I'm from Romania. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarre experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, is it? Life changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially oh, when you're okay. hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. There's a lot of people called Stefan in Romania, though. Anything to say, huh? Also, before I forget, let me alt tab and give you a follow. Maybe I catch you online as well. There we go. Mm. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself. No worries. Uh, I was just that I don't. Uh, are you from the U.S.? Because if you are, I might never catch you on if you sleep stream later in the day. Because it's 8.30 p.m. right now here. So time zones are not friendly with me. But there are a lot of people in the uh, in the viewer storm community that are from the U.S. So you, you might have chances to make friends that are in... The same time zone and Looney is in the US as well, so. Oh, alright, alright, you're in GMT plus one. That's that's totally fine. Cool then. Yeah, 4 a.m. was like uh, 10 a.m. for me or something like that. It was like six hours difference if I remember correctly. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to uh, do? Just what one hour do? away. Oh, how many hours away are we? Hey, uh, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what I to do. I don't know where not you. Parents, not the principal, or that whore in the bathroom. Uh, oh. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got this. Your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! That's easy. Nobody! Wow, he's not okay. Man, so yeah, it's 8 30 here, so it's just one up. we're one hour difference. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. Five years are still Max Caulfield. What hours do you usually stream at? Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd seen you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. 
So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Oh, hey, Ezio. Five, seven hours on Monday, so is it 12 hours each? Oh, wow, you have a lot of time. And since Ezio is here, you can check his website as well. Might help you gain some views and you'll surely get Ezio as your lurker. He's a really, really awesome dude. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Oh, nice. I don't think the status of my uh, 380 has updated. I've checked a few times today and there's, there's nothing, so I'm not going to do it till tomorrow. Because I'm just going to get pissed if they didn't update the status of it. Hmm. Hold on out of universe. Yeah, as I said, man, just just wait a tiny bit. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Medicate. It won't play without any power. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of information, but uh, you can find him on Twitter and he'll probably answer questions and you can ask me stuff as well. Uh, Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of our case. Probably you'll find me on my Discord more than on my stream as I only stream three days a week. But... Yeah, feel free to. Or drop a whisper in Twitch and I'll answer you if that's easier for you. I'll I'm, I'll be glad to help and with whatever you need. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc to play. Like, if you need help with Damn, your channel or whatever else. If I know something, I'll gladly. Uh, yeah, sure. Or you can just join my channel. But only if you want. If not, I'll just add you. Oh, shit. Thanks. Let me look at this first. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When okay, she what's did, in the bag? And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Okay, let me rewind. Old 
cardboard boxes. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Okay, she knew Rachel. All right. We had such a She's blast a drawing killer. this together. Uh -huh. Power girls. Well, let me let me alt tab as I will probably miss the card. I'll add you right now on Discord unless again. Yeah, you can join Discord. That would be the easiest way. Cause that way, uh, if you have Discord connected to Twitch, uh, I will be able to see when you go line, as I get a notification on Discord when totally people go live, and side. then I can drop a lurk if I'm at the PC. Chloe was always taller than me. Yeah, uh, you'll get past that. Like, honestly, uh, so there's a lot of. I really get it. Yeah, dude, as you, I'm. Well, I basically got. I bought the card. It's gonna get here one day, or so. I'm just gotta be patient for now, and you will get the average three viewers. If I will be at home at my PC, I will surely be in your Twitch channel to help you with that. Okay. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Lord. I joined. And pending accept. Wow, that's a pretty good price, Ezio. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville Thanks and for the lurk, Santa, man. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually mm -hmm. disappear? Six months ago. She just left our You can take all my commands here. Work. Without me. You can get inspiration of what you can add to your channel. Feel free. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told oh, me, nice. okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deducted. Yeah, no Before worries, Carlos. She said she met somebody who changed her life. No, I'm far from awesome. I just like helping people. There's room for everyone, right? My dad, you, and Rachel, gone. Can you put on some music now? Uh, I might have refreshed. Hey, Tongard, thank you so much for the sub. Also. 
if you would like to take the time to take uh, to give me something that I will try to cosplay uh, using what I have in the house. Uh, Sandman sent me a picture yesterday and I will try to do that this weekend and I will do yours as well as soon as possible if you feel free to send me a message on Discord, Torn, if you want me to. And thank you so much, man. Four months in a row, wow. That's... I can't believe it's been so long already. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Check Tardgard out, man. Are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to He's one of the, the nicest people I've met since I started streaming. So check his channel out. He's been playing World of Warcraft recently uh, because of the new big patch. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. He's a really chill out dude. That has been very supportive of me as well. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. <laughs> Chloe and her dad were so close. You can talk about those things here, man. Like, there's nothing. I don't... I'm as transparent as I can be. I don't mind talking about Discord channels, Twitch channels, or whatever. It's a safe place you can talk about stuff. I also, you can... Like, if you have uh, Twitch connected to to your discord it will automatically uh post in the stream share chat uh in the stream share i have a bot that automatically posts uh whenever anyone goes live uh nothing but junk in this <laughs> yeah 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 smack <laughs> No, Max, this isn't a tool shed. Like I said, check the garage. Oh, excellent. So when next time you'll go, next time you'll go live, it will automatically post in the stream share. Because it's uh, one way I can keep up with people going live and not forgetting when they go live. I don't have a lot of roles in my Discord though, but no one requested other roles, so... I didn't add them. Dark. I cannot see anything. Can I switch the light on? This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. Loxetine, what are those for? Oh, antidepressants, okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf, but here I am. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. There's the game music. Nothing's changed, except for me and Chloe. 
Nice, isn't it? This must be Chloe's parents' room. Oh my god, that Man, bird. I'm nosy today. That bird just Oh shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Oh shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Uh okay. Dog tags. Sweet. David Matson. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner. And... Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. Oh uh -oh. no. The, the prices are late on their bills. Four thousand dollars, okay. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Oh, this is the security officer, okay. How do I help that bird, though? Oh, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Yeah, you said you were gonna try to... Joyce always loved her cut, uh, old of useless caffeine. Cat. Did you also do it? How do I help this bird though? I need something to help the bird. You're switching to tea. Yeah, you said you were going to try to. I had my coffee today. I love coffee. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Mm. They have a lot of debt, as I see it. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. You can try. You can buy like a small... Uh, a smaller pack of decaf. And see if you like it. Mm. Oh, we got three more people. So let's see. This is Warden. I knew if I gave Warden my phone, he would blow it up for science. He wants his flash drive back after letting me borrow it for less than a week. He told me to watch everything because he had tons of cool TV shows and films on there. I tried decaf and I didn't really like it. It, it peels off. But you can give it a shot. As I said, buy a smaller pack and see if that works for you. Thank God it wasn't Warren, and I'm thankful for Warren. He's like a real friend, and we shared a lot of the same interests. Dude, Warren loves you. He loves science, but he really understands art and appreciates great photography. He thought he says he loves my pictures. I can't tell he's just being nice. No, he doesn't love your pictures. He loves you. Warren is a geek, but he definitely lets you know where he stands. I don't think he would ever lie to me. It feels good to have at least one strong ally at the same age here, and he makes me smile. Oh, don't absolutely no worries. You do your thing. Just the fact that you are lurking is helping me. So don't ever apologize for like, like never ever. Please don't feel the need to apologize for not being active or not. Yeah, you're cool. We're cool, man. <laughs> Then there's Chloe Price. What do you say to your best friend after five years of silence? 
Um, after finding out you saved her life in a bathroom, nothing. I feel so lame for not staying in touch or even text. I have no idea how to process seeing Chloe like this again. For one thing, she looks so similar but so different. She's all grown up now, but it doesn't seem like she's only one year older than me. I absolutely love her blue hair and punk clothes. It makes sense she would become a rebel. She still kind of looks like a pirate. Except one who stage dies. I know she's angry with me because of her body language. I'm glad I can see, still see the old Chloe in there. Or is that the young Chloe? I'm sure she's still messed up about her dad dying. I would be too. That was a terrible time for Chloe and Joyce. I feel bad because I wonder if I was happy to move away just to avoid the grief. Speaking of grief, it's clear she's all mixed up with Nathan Prescott's shit. I have no idea what's going on between them and I'm going to find out. Oh, I didn't want to exit. I wanted to go to Rachel. Where is Rachel Amber? Even though Blackwell Academy feels so remote and tranquil, you still get sad reminders of reality. Like missing person posters literally wallpapered all over campus. I already know her name though. Through osmosis. I guess she was a popular student here and vanished six months ago. Rachel has a great picture of her missing person poster. She looks posed and pretty like a model. Of course, I wonder who took the photo. Did she run away from home? I'd like to hope so. For her sake, it's so depressing. I, I feel awful for her parents. What a shitty thing to go through. No big sight. No matter how much Blackwell seems like a secret bubble of knowledge, you can't escape the real world. Mm, okay. Okay, next. Uh, this guy keeps getting stranger. Okay, Kira, enjoy your uh, dinner and thanks for sticking by. I'm pretty sad Ashley didn't manage to tune in today. She said she would. Bye, Kira. Thanks for sticking. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I'm not gonna stream for a long period of time anyway, so... This day keeps getting stranger. I don't even believe what I'm writing. And I can't even do a simple task while giving Warren back his flash drive without getting into a situation. In this case, though, I turned out half bad and half good. Which I guess is the yin and yang of life. When I met with Warren in the lot and checked out his new retro wheels, guess who showed up? Nathan Prescott, freaking out all over again. He got all up in my face to accuse me of bullshit. Wait, I need to send a message. Edgy teenage fangirl, thank you for the follow. Yeah, you'll get there, uh, Carlos. Don't worry about it. I promise you'll get there. Even though I was scared because I know what he did to that girl in the bathroom, I was more furious. Hey, how are you today? <laughs> edgy teenage fangirl. Or edgy teenage, how do you want me to call you? Then the girl in the bathroom pulled up in the truck. My former best friend, Chloe Price. We both looked at each other like, what the fuck? The next thing I knew, I was in her truck as Warren earned his man card and tried to get Nathan off my ass. I owe Warren big time. Seeing Chloe for the first time in five years was such a shock. I almost paralyzed especially after realizing that nathan had almost killed her right in front of me now chloe shows up and one of the blue saves me out of the blue saves me out of all the bizarre and unexplained much shit happening today sitting in chloe's uh, battered truck listening to music and staring at her dashboard bubble heading might be at the top so i tried to process the fact that chloe and i were two best friends who didn't know each other anymore she had blue hair, piercings, and cool boots, and I, I looked like a dork. I didn't know where to start, and she wasn't exactly extending an olive branch. So we sat like strangers. At least I had time to catch my breath and realize that in the parking lot, 
Merle with Nathan and Warren, my camera got busted up. I didn't care considering everything else going on, but it sucked on top of everything else going on. Going back to Chloe's old house for the first time in 5 years was like the ultimate rewind. Some things were obviously different, but some things weren't. The house smelled exactly the same as it did when we were growing up. Chloe's room was like an exploded version of her new adult self, cool and chaotic. I could tell she was pissed. She wanted to blaze up and chill, so I explored her room to play catch up on what she was into these days. I'm an other one, other one. Fuck off. <laughs> That's utterly outrageous. Uh, I think that was what you were looking for. Like, you were going for the 5700 XT. So, if it's a price you consider good, go for it. Yeah. Then I found a photo of Chloe with Rachel Amber. Chloe freaked and laid, in, and laid into me for not calling her once. I deserved it. She had become best friends with Rachel and they were going to bail on Arcadia Bay and head out to Los Angeles for fame and fortune. I could tell how much Chloe cared about Rachel since she was the one putting up the posters. I felt even cheated about leaving Chloe alone in all those years when she most needed me. You suck, Max. But Chloe is as obsessed with Rachel, the missing girl. She says Rachel vanished after meeting some amazing dude, probably some psycho online. Chloe wanted to smoke out and be alone, so I went downstairs to fix my camera. But again, man, if there's no rush, like, wait. For other things to I be in stock. Place in five years. Seems like forever. Travel money. <laughs> I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joy still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Man, all these burgers. Make me hungry. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. <laughs> okay. Can I? I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. What can I do here? Grape, okay. We made this grape Bongo. for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. Mm, I wonder burgers. if he was the last one to use this. Really want to do when you grow up, Max? I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. <laughs> Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you.
Okay. Not sure what's going on. And yeah, that was my thought. I was like, uh, is this going anywhere or should I just try to skip it? So I skipped it. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Okay, another trip down memory lane. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. <laughs> if I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a sh I guess they're aging these books. <laughs> I should be able to find the tools I need here. Everything is aging. Nothing. This is so lame. Shit. Butterfingers. Mm. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Oh my. Okay, so... Chloe's stepdad is the security guard and he has pictures of Kate Marsh. He's obsessed with her. Okay, that's not okay. Ouch. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Can I get that? These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Oh my. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Because he wants to place cameras all over. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Oh, did you get did you just buy it? Man, I should have done that before they fell.
Yeah, you don't buy a graphics card for looks. At least. I know I didn't buy my for looks. Yes. I bought it because it was the only one available. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school. How? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Oh, we got food here. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Can I find anything for the bird though? Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. Well, that's like all close to half of what you just paid for the new one, so it's not bad at all. Hmm. How do I help that bird, though? You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Why, uh, why not? It's not gonna take a long while to dismantle it and put some new thermal paste on the CPU. Right. When was the last time you did it, though? So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Oh, I've never done it for the GPU. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you were a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head Excellent, off. then. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every nice. single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money. Drugs. But that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass yeah, only cares they about do. cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. 
I didn't mention you at all. I swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Yeah, exactly. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it. And mm. now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. I could sell that mm, ten people in an hour. The song fucking rules. I could can't dance, hippie, come on. Rock out, girl. You yes, can put you like down, Yo, turn it off, turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Oh. Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. Hey, don't worry about it, and we'll come back. Glad it helped. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open the door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm oh my God. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Oh One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? I'm giving you exactly three seconds to open the door. One, two, three. <sighs> Chloe. I'm coming. What are you doing? What the hell can I? I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second, my bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait. Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Mm. I can't be seen my here. Mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce. Like now. Oh. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. No, no, don't blame it on her. Again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real stuff douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hickhole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. Yeah, the what unfortunate... What stepped up to help? The unfortunate thing is that... Uh, there's so much of this going on in real life that it's you it's unbelievable
Yeah, I know. I don't agree with it either. Like, I will never understand the anyone, doesn't matter, woman, man, anyone's need of hitting someone else. Like, you're not gonna solve anything by hitting someone else. Unless it's a sport in which you choose to smack each other out. Oh, I'm really forever. sorry to hear that. So why really, I really sorry. Here? I didn't know because we didn't talk about this that. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I am honestly sorry to hear that. Squirrel. You and me, stare contest. Huh? People can be such pigs. Hmm. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Don't feed the Sasquatch. Yeah, no, I wasn't being miserable about it. I'm just, I'm really sorry she had to that go through that. That part of the landscape now. The path behind it leads It's to never the easy now. and it always, always leaves a... A mark on people's way of living at least for a while until you decide or are like have the energy to deal with it I hope she's doing well now Yeah. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree for it. Yes. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Yes, there is. And I still like to believe that there's more good Looks than like bad. The youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. But I never made it. Sometimes I doubt that. A tree haiku? How pretty. How long has that been here? I try to be a tiny good part of this world. I try. Yeah, no, no, I'm not trying to. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Uh, keep babbling about this. Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those? Birds? Oh, that's awesome, Looney. I know those student loans are crazy in the US. I remember racing up and down the steps. Right, just for watching. <laughs> this would be a nice photo of Chloe, framed by the sun. No one here no in one this chat them. owes me anything. Sit I appreciate you, you giving me your time and your your words and <laughs> Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. 
I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Hey, thank you so much for the kind words, uh, Carlos. I try to just try to be, you know, myself and I'm enjoying the games I'm playing and I'm enjoying all these people coming in to just talk with me. Yeah, I, I hate those errors. I get the 1000 error a lot. Thanks for the kind words, uh, Kairos. I'm, I've started this year and I didn't have, uh, <laughs> thanks Looney. That's really kind of you. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just another guy out there trying to do some good and spread some, some good vibes, some chill good vibes. That's, that's what my life is about. I should have taken his photo when he flipped out on Kate today. That would be killer blackmail material. Let's bust his ass. He has some kind of weird agenda. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Yeah, I don't... At least I have the positive vibes. I don't necessarily... Uh, well, yeah. I feel like I have a un unique thing going. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Maybe simpleness. Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. Uh, don't worry about it, and I appreciate you. Your, yeah, I really appreciate your kind you words. Know. Chloe, your house is mm -hmm. under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? <laughs> I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. This game is a roller coaster of feelings, isn't it? I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I don't have a cat. I only have a dog. <laughs> Sorry about it. I don't have a cat. Uh, yeah, no, like... People are usually... Um, easy to... Oh yeah, that is my dog. That's, that's my dog, that's Oscar. That's what Looney was talking about. More Oscar content. He's seven years old. He's like the best boy I could ever wish for. And on the haters side, uh, Kairos, um, basically, I always try to understand both sides before uh, intervening, uh, intervening in anything. And uh, someone that feels the need to bash on on someone else uh, usually is because they are curious about something or they are unhappy about something and if they give me the chance I try to find out about that thing but if not I'm just gonna let them spur the things out and let things go and uh, it's the best thing you can do is 
you be the source of his hating. Let let uh, help him let things out and move on. Sometimes it's the best course of action. Just let him, I don't know, swear at you, hate you, or whatever. Let let it let him cool down and uh, I am so move furious, on. I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope you we can, can check my children. Instagram. There's more pictures of lives. here of him there. I tried to this not overload the Instagram with pictures of him, though. I have a lot of them on my phone. I'll send you, Looney. I promise I will send you more pictures on Discord of Oscar. Uh, my wife took him out for the walk. For the evening walk. So he's outside in the snow. <laughs> yeah, we got snow already. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. He likes snow though. Can I even go past this? I have to rewind. Yeah, okay. Ah, I see. And now the, the tree is gonna fall. Yeah. Okay. I understand. I feel like the dome is leading me. I'm probably gonna end oh. I'm probably gonna end the session soon though, because I need to have my dinner and get some rest. But I'm probably gonna be on for 10-15 minutes more oh my okay Get past this. Can I die? I can die, okay. I better rewind right now. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could die. Oh, uh, and I gotta run through here. Okay, I got I see. Okay. Yeah, that's a shadow of a deer. October 11? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Uh, tomorrow. 
I only stream three days a week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Yeah, you can see the schedule in the about section. No more Saturdays. What's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on. Did I not breath, change okay? my Chloe, about I'm section? I'm not crazy. Oh, I did. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something. Oh, yeah, I need to change that. Ugh, sorry about that. Thanks for the reminder, though. That's a good thing. I'll take a note of changing that. Thank you. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell of an insane fucking day. <gasps> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? <laughs> it's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. No, it doesn't, Looney. It's only temporary, unfortunately. Dealing with stuff fixes everything. <laughs> oh, so I guess this was episode one. Alright, this is a good place to end the stream then. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said like, getting high fixes everything, yeah, yeah, okay, now I get it, sorry, sorry, sorry. I should have read that. Oh, the game is not bad and it's talking about teenage problems and gossips and whatnot and it's wrapped in a missing girl story which i'm curious where it leads to so we'll see okay Nice. Cool stuff. Awesome then. Uh, Alright then. Um, let's see if I have anyone to raid. I have a lot of people to raid, but let's see who I pick today. Uh, hmm... Maybe I don't pick anyone today. Pickle P is uh, one awesome cool chick streamer that Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the for the kind words today, Kairos. I really appreciate all of it. All of it really. And my plan is not necessarily to get big all I want is to get a payout each month so I can send uh, so I can send money to charity each month. That would be my dream come true. But one day, baby steps, right? Baby steps. We gotta be realistic about our goals and our possibilities to uh, grow. So uh, I hope I'll catch your next stream as well. And thanks a lot for the chatters and. Hope you all have a great uh, evening, day, and uh, 
I hope I'll see you tomorrow. We're not gonna continue with this tomorrow though. Tomorrow we're playing uh, Layers of Fear 2 as Thursdays is uh, horror games. Much love from Romania. Thank you for being here with me. Bye.